talk about see the symbol here with the little arrow that goes off the course and points a different direction. Okay. Thank you, Easy Stop here. That solves one major problem. The next day. He broke up with me. Over fucking text. Well, right here stands for MGTOW. So, yeah. Well, that's over and done with. Sure did last long, didn't it? Literally in the middle of fucking nowhere in Nevada. This is the most challenging part of the Lincoln Highway. Hopefully it gets better soon. I'm so angry, you guys. I'm just, but I feel like I'm more angry at myself than I am him. 98% of my viewers watching this have no idea what that means, but MGTOW stands for men going their own way. I'm not feeling it anymore. I should have known better and I should have seen this fucking coming. America's loneliest highway. Don't ever let your boyfriend put shoe polish on your car. Don't. Just don't. Because he might dump you a week later. You have to take a risk in order to find love, and you have to date people that aren't right for you to find the one that is right for you. It didn't work out, and I have to move on, and that's, and that's all I can do. Here, I'll just read it word for word here is, uh... Men going their own way is a statement of self-ownership, where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty above all else. Turning 40 for a single woman with no kids, is that like, am I going through a midlife crisis right now? Yeah. I've been single for a long time, looking for the right partner. Uh, I stopped dating for some time after I had my heart broken in 2014. Ship, where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty above all else. It is the manifestation of one word, no. Injecting silly preconceptions and cultural definitions of what a man is. Looking to no one else for social cues, refusing to bow, serve, or kneel for the opportunity to be treated like a disposable utility. And living according to his own best interests in a world which would rather he didn't. Paying off my debt, getting myself to a position where I could quit my job and hit the road and try to focus on making myself happy. And for the most part, I did that. Three and a half years later, I meet a man who I thought has similar goals as myself, who wanted the same things out of life. We had a similar sense of humor, etc., etc., etc. One frozen wasteland later. Bit of housekeeping, real quick. Uh, Angela and I will not be traveling together anymore. Uh, we will remain good friends. And uh, we may even meet up later on the road, wherever it meets. Um, I'll be interested to see uh, how things go. But for me, it's uh, been tricky to juggle a, a relationship on the road. So I um, kind of decided I'd, I'd rather go solo. So it is what it is. 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 It is. Sometimes it is what it isn't. Woohoo! Some loser gets his head blown off. Shut up! Eventually... Eric accepts me as I am. He loves me for who I am. So, I hope that in time you will too. If not, then... Keep your mean comments to yourself, is all I can say, basically. Um, you know, and that's okay. Eric and I don't have to be the same exact kind of people. He's loud and boisterous, and I'm just not. And that is okay, okay? That's okay. And this 18-wheeler is riding my butt. And I also wanted to say that, you know, for the negative Nellies out there that think they've got everything figured out, oh, well, you guys were together and then he dumped you in the middle of the desert and you came back to him because you're weak and all of this. You, <laughs> that was a year ago, guys. Do you know what has happened in that year? No, you don't. And we kept it that way for a reason. We kept everything off of YouTube. There's been some things that have gone down and 
not any of your concern. What I have is this natural ability to be happy and stay happy by myself with my cat without needing a better half or another companion uh, to make me feel whole. I think you've got everything figured out just because you've seen one video and you listen to some stupid troll videos that think they know everything. We are looking forward to getting Eric another bike. <laughs> he just got rid of his not too long ago. So today, uh, I'm gonna be moving out of the U-Haul truck into the RV. Angela is gonna be moving out of her van and into the RV, and we're gonna take our time for maybe two, three, four days. I don't know how long exactly it's gonna take. What this means for me is I'm not gonna make any extra effort ever to bring a woman into my life to complete me on the road in the RV. Looking forward to that. But what do I feel about our new home? I love it. Um, it's really nice and obviously it's so roomy. And it's funny because when we first got it, before we moved in, we're like, gosh, look at all this room. We have so much storage. Now that all of our stuff is in it, we're like, um, yeah, this isn't as big as we thought it was. Yeah, we had to get rid of some stuff. It is what it is. Like homosexuality, men who have given up on women and are going a different route or something like that. What I have is this natural ability to be happy and stay happy by myself with my cat without needing a better half or another companion uh, to make me feel whole. Now, I feel whole all the time on the road. I am perfectly happy being single, as I have. I have also had opportunities where I have not been single and I have shared my life with someone, and many of you know how those relationships have ended for me, so being alone and being happy being alone is is really a valuable thing for anyone to have, male or female. I mean, you really need to enjoy being by yourself. Got 60 bucks, let's go find a hooker.